So when would you perform a disco discography? A discography normally is a, is a procedure that has been done to diagnose if someone has a disc problem. Mm -hmm. So normally that procedure is more of a diagnost diagnostic procedure, so meaning that has no therapeutic value, meaning that our role there will be just to make sure which disc or disc are causing the, pro the problem. So we put an injection inside the disc and we kind of recreate the patient's symptoms. Mm -hmm. So we go one at a, th at a time. Normally when we're getting into that type of procedure, we're trying to find out between among the levels that are causing the patient's pain, which is the one that is causing truly the problem. So the patient might require a surgical intervention. Mm -hmm. Most likely it will be a fusion. Now in that case, do you perform an ultrasound to help you guide you as well through epidural injections or performing one of these? Those will be under fluoroscopic guidance, okay. strict x-ray guidance that we use to, to guide us. So every spinal injection that has been done, normally uh, uh, the best uh, clinical practice right now from literature is to do them under fluoroscopic or x-ray image guided. Or so sometimes some interventional radiologist, they do those under CT guidance, which is equally the same. So when a patient comes to you, how do you determine what that cause of pain is? A lot of time, uh, believe it or not, a lot of time the patient might be telling you if, you, if if you listen to them carefully, they might be able to give you some key points during the during the medical interview as to where the problem might be coming out, some, coming out from. So mm -hmm. sometimes they might tell us my pain is worse with sitting, when I cough, when I sneeze. Those patients already, we might have an idea that it might be a disc-related issue. If they tell me, well, my symptoms are worse when I'm walking, I need to lean over on a shopping cart, I need to walk and I need to sit down for after X amount of blocks, that's truly more likely what we call neurogenic intermittent claudication. That means spinal stenosis. Right. The canal is more tighter and that will cause them some, some of those symptomatology and we might need, uh, the treatment might be different. So that's what we go ahead and we get the MRIs for so we can match where the symptoms are, what the patient is, is telling us, and match them with the MRI. We review the MRIs alongside with the patient, mm -hmm. and then that's where we go ahead and we formulate the plan of care.